Hi guys, it is Blohane. Today is day 22 of the Clutter Free in 5 challenge and today Laura had set the challenge of your digital desktop, tidying up your digital desktop and your files and such. Now, I recently did this, in fact, just before the challenge. Um, I tidied up the laptop, backed things up, deleted things uh, because it was running slow. And so I feel right now that does not need to get done. And so I have done a weird take on this one. And as opposed to your digital desktop, I am going to tidy up or declutter my visual desktop. And what I mean by that is around your house, there are probably loads of spots, let's call them hot spots, where you keep or store important items or keep them safe. And so they almost create, like on the desktop, on a laptop, tiles or areas where you place things. So in my house, I have a couple of areas like this some of which you guys will already have seen. And so I'm gonna visit a couple of these and I know for sure two or three of them definitely need to be decluttered and for the items to actually be put back where they should go. Because like I've mentioned a lot in the Clutter Free and Five Challenge, I find it really easy if everything has a home. It's so easy to put it back and I know where it goes, James knows where, is, where it goes, but occasionally, in life, you don't get to put things straight back where they go, and so we have these like collection spots. So let's go visit the first one. So my first one is right here beside my hob in the kitchen, and this area, as you can see, is full of jewelry, bracelets, earrings, rings, all of that sort of thing. I do not like to wear jewelry when I'm cooking or cleaning the kitchen and so if I happen to be wearing it when I come down here to cook or to do something in the kitchen, I pop it here on this little tray here. Fun fact, this was actually a gift from Laura. As many of you know, Laura and I are the very best of friends and uh, this, as you can see, is also filthy. It's full of jewelry. Um, and so I am going to declutter the jewelry from here. All of this is good jewelry, as in I am not going to be giving it away or donating it. It is simply going to go back into the jewelry boxes or places it needs to go. And I'm also going to give this a quick clean. I'm just using my favorite kitchen degreaser here just to give it a quick wipe out and clean. And there we have it, all nice and clean. And this, when we head upstairs, I shall put away. Another hot spot is just in here. And as you can see, this is full of baby stuff. A lot of this are like teething or like applicators and such that I keep close by for Indiana. These are the granules we use, and these are syringes for when we need to administer Nurofen or Calpol. A couple of dowdies. And this is the little cutter I use for his fruit every day. So again, nice and close by and they're all corralled, um, but they don't need any declutter. Another visual tile in the house is this little basket. It stays either on the high chair, there's a shelf behind on the other side, or in the middle of the table when I don't have beautiful flowers. Aren't these gorgeous? My brother sent them to me um, last week. They are just stunning. But it's normally in the center of the table. And um, as you can see, right now it does not need to be decluttered, but it does need to be refilled. So I'm going to grab a couple of more muslins and wipes to put in this. I find it really handy to just to have one here for when I'm feeding Indiana. There's my gorgeous kitty cat in the distance there, that's Ferdinand. The next visual tile will be one that you're all familiar with and that is the stair basket. That sits at the end of the stairs and stuff that needs to be elsewhere gets put in it. So we shall also bring this upstairs to uh, declutter the area.
bedroom hey guys and the next visual tile i have is this little unicorn here again filled with jewelry and such this is like where i pop things and dog hair bows when i don't have time to put it away another fun fact another gift from laura she knows i'm a bag a magpie and that i love sparkly things um so again going to declutter this too and i have my basket here to put everything away the jewelry is so fiddly i keep dropping all of it into the basket so i am going to take all these items and all these items and put them in their various homes inside here i'm probably going to leave out a couple of things that i wear regularly so that i can access them easily that just works for me normally my engagement rings and such are sitting here and these are just a couple of rings that i was wearing re recently for anybody looking for a great way to store earrings i love these um I think they're like bead cases uh, and I just store all my like earrings so pearls you know fancy diamondy type or diamante types together and these are there's actually two of these they each come with a lid where is the other lid gone um oh here it is uh, and then I just stack them like so and they go in here I do keep a lot of things in boxes but I find earrings are too fiddly and over here is where I keep the majority of my necklaces um, they're just like on command hooks and then the rest is um, down here in this front and back thing and hanging there you can see this is all costume jewelry another really quick video from me again today guys I hope you enjoyed it but remember, if there is something on the list of the declutter challenge that doesn't really fit in with your lifestyle, maybe think about how you can switch it around. So as opposed to doing digital files, maybe do those digital little files places that you have in your house, just like I've tackled today. Because obviously I'm doing a lot of packing, I don't have a huge amount of hot spots around the house right now but you can be guaranteed that in the coming weeks and months i certainly will for those interested yes the packing has begun let me show you what i've achieved so far it's not much but it's a start so here we go here is the start uh, of the boxes as you can see i am trying to label them and tag them if they're fragile the office is looking a little bit barer as are other spots. I am planning to do a sort of like a packing hacks or a packing tip um, video in the coming weeks. So do check that out. I'm hoping it will be out in early September. For now though, I'm going to say adieu and I'm going to head and relax and get changed. It's Sunday here and we are planning a duvet day to just utterly relax so that's what i'm gonna do hope you enjoyed this video guys please do give it a thumbs up i shall see you tomorrow don't forget to sub subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the fun videos and i have done something this week i haven't done in a very long time and i have planned an editorial calendar for almost the remainder of the year i just have a couple of more weeks to fill in I'm very excited about the content I plan to produce in the next three or four months. So do subscribe so that you don't miss any of that. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.